Hello and welcome to Bowler CBT Labs. My name is Matt Bowler and in this video we will be configuring a Cisco IOS certificate authority server and the reason that we will be doing this is to show the basic functionality and configuration as well as uh, begin to prep for the uh, scalable authentication uh, methods that we will be using in several labs down the line namely some VPN labs. Uh, we've, we've gone over pre-shared keys for an authentication method, but next we will dive into the certificate uh, process and how we can utilize the Cisco IOS as a CA server and uh, a possible solution for almost any type of uh, environment that you may be working in you may not want to put that load on your Cisco device but know that the capability is there and we will go over the configuration which uh, once you first dive into it it may be a little bit confusing but uh, when you see the parts all come together and uh, and actually work and you get it doing what you want it to do for you it's a, it's a pretty cool feature and it might actually stir a little bit of interest and cause you to dive deeper into the subject uh, which is usually the case with a lot of the topics that uh, I know that I've covered with the Cisco iOS and devices and all that comes along with that glorious technology. To begin here we have a fairly simple uh, topology. We've got two routers that are being run within uh, GNS3 so they are virtual devices and uh, it's important to keep that in mind for one of the functionalities uh, that we will get into and cover here in just a few moments but uh, our router 1 over here will be our certificate authority the, the server there and router 2 will be the client so the bulk of the configuration will be on our uh, server there and then you'll see some of the same configuration also apply on the client. Let's go ahead and get started here on router 1 and we will enter uh, configuration mode. By now I hope that uh, you've you've seen and generated keys before. If not, if you've just done uh, keys, you, like a general key usage for SSH or something like that, what we'll be doing here is generating uh, a, a key set specifically for use uh, for the CA server. And we can accomplish that by entering the crypto key 